Rochdale Council is getting £2 million to spend on playgrounds and this site in Haywood has been earmarked for one. So surely that's good news. Not necessarily. Residents in this area are united in opposition to proposals for a playground here. They wouldn't mind if it just attracted small children playing on the swings, but this area is already played by antisocial behaviour and vandalism. They believe that a playground here would act as a magnet and more teenagers would come here and drink. I spoke to residents in the area, but none would appear on camera for fear of reprisals. But they told me that teenagers who congregate here get drunk, often start fires and smash windows by throwing stones from the nearby East Lancashire Railway line. But unfortunately, as desperately as we want the facilities, and we work very hard to get this money brought to Rochdale, that site, in my view, is not suitable. The Adventure Playground in Haywood has been proposed by the Pothall Tenants and Residents Association. There's nothing more depressing than kicking the, uh, the broken beer bottles and uh, WKD bottles off the Toddler's Park on a Saturday morning. While I don't in any way excuse that kind of behaviour, at the same time, I think the older age group do need somewhere else to go that is a bit more uh, in tune with what they want to do. And obviously if we do that, it might take uh, people away from hanging around toddler's parks or... Uh, uh, or, or other places where they shouldn't be. So, what can be done to cut down on antisocial behaviour and drinking in parks? This square now has got a ban on public drinking. Well, I'd actually go further. Let's extend it to the whole of the town and its parks too. The vast majority of the youth are OK, they're great kids, and they hate the image that is being put forward of them as drunk and loud. But that site is wrong for that kind of a fixed play provision. There'll be a public meeting about the Adventure Playground proposal in Haywood on April the 14th. Richard Butt, Channel M News.